And the Los Angeles Times says McDonald's is giving workers a raise and vacation time. It follows protests by employees for higher wages. Starting July 1st, the hourly rate will be $9.90. It will go up to more than $10 by the end of the year. That is up from the current average rate of $9.01. That's much higher than the federal minimum wage of $7.25. The change will affect about 90,000 workers in 1,500 restaurants that McDonald's owns, but franchisee employees who operate nearly 90% of McDonald's in the United States will not benefit from the move. Steve Easterbrook became CEO on March 1st. He joins us only on CBS this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I was pleased to have you here yes. and, and to, talk, to here. talk about the idea first of, of raising the minimum wage for those own stores, right. McDonald's, and also why you couldn't do it for the franchisees. Sure. But first, why did you want to do this and how do you decide how much you can do? They're asking for like Fifteen dollars sure, an hour. Sure. Well, look, this is we're a really um, interesting point in the evolution of McDonald's. This is our 60th year, and we find ourselves in a bit of a turnaround situation. And I really want to assert McDonald's as a modern and progressive burger company. And to do that, you've really got to uh, make meaningful changes to the business, whether it's through the food and the core food, or whether it's through the employment proposition. And the announcements we made yesterday. We think will make a really resonate and make a really meaningful difference to 90,000 employees. Mm -hmm. Partly because ultimately, to drive the turnaround, we want to deliver better customer service day in, day out in our restaurants. Motivated teams, you know, if you can retain, well, attract and retain the talent and have motivated teams in the restaurants, typically we will see better levels of customer service and that will help us in this competitive uh, environment we're in. They're so also getting paid time off. They are getting paid time off, and that, that is actually industry leading. I mean, clearly, um, wages are important to people. Mm -hmm. Of course, we recognise that. But actually, th when, when, when we speak to our customer, to our employees, sorry, and ask them what matters to them, clearly the paycheck's important. But other things, what else can we do to try and help them in their busy, hectic lives? Pay time off is a really big deal. That was the number two priority. Mm -hmm. And what we can, they will accrue hours now that they can actually take. So if they've got difficulties like taking care of a sick child or taking care of other urgent issues, they can u utilize that paid time off. Go, go ahead. I want to get back to the question of why not the franchisees mm -hmm. and is there anything yeah. you can do to influence raising the minimum wage for those workers? Well, we have a very different sort of business model here. So the franchisees are independent owner operators right. and they are absolutely expert. Uh, they're community leaders. They're expert understanding the communities in which they operate and they will set the pay rates to attract the talent and, and really outperform the competition locally. So we have uh, clearly direct influence on the company owned restaurants. We'll work with our franchisees. Our franchisees are already, already smart at this one. They, 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 their long term interest is having motivated. So you think they'll follow up? Well, I think many of them are already ahead, actually. So I think that's, what, that's what's important to recognize. You know, we have great leadership from our owner operators, and now the company can make a meaningful step as well. Mc McDonald's is an iconic American brand. We were talking Everybody this morning about how many of us remember celebrating yes. birthday, birthdays right. there. There were special dinners in many ways to go out to McDonald's on a Sunday uh -huh. or something like that. And yet we've seen McDonald's sales decline. I mean, net mm -hmm. income dropped 15% this year. The company is, is having a bit of a rough patch, you might say. Okay. Is this part of a public relations move to improve McDonald's image? I think you're going to see act the actions we're taking to drive this turnaround. As I say, to demonstrate that we're a modern and progressive burger company, you act your way to success. You can't talk your way to success. And when you move the, 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 the benefits package for 90,000 people, mm -hmm. that's not a PR exercise. That is a meaningful step. This morning, 90,000 hard-working men and women got up feeling more energized and more confident about their future opportunities. So you're the result. CEO of this company. Your, your task is to help turn it around and raise profits, certainly, uh -huh. and income. You've, we've seen, also in the food industry business, a rise of fast casual restaurants like Shake Shack, other burger things. How do you compete against that? Do you have to change McDonald's? I know you want to offer breakfast now. You're trying that concept. Do you have to make healthier options? What does McDonald's do to change? But, but what I think is interesting, people say they don't go to McDonald's for salad. They don't go there for apple slices. Is it a question of focusing on making what you do, your core business better, or should you expand, to Nora's point? Well, I think fundamentally you've got to, you've got to win, if I use a sporting analogy, you've got to win your home game. We, we want to be the best burger business out there. 
But that doesn't mean you restrict the menu. You know, you offer range and variety. That's important to people. But ultimately, we want to be recognized as being the best burger business out there. Uh, you will be the best burger business out there if you make the best burgers, I assume. Yeah. Uh, That's an important part of it. You're so, right. So beyond all of this, in terms of raising minimum wage, make employees happy and all of those things, what are you going to do to change this company so that rather, rather than having a declining sales and in income revenue, you increase it by making better burgers? Well, I think, I think what we recognize is the pace of change outside of McDonald's has been a little quicker than the pace of change within. So you will see us run this business. You'll see me run as CEO with a sense of urgency and purpose to make the meaningful changes that customers care about. They love our food. They love to see us invest further in the quality and, and just the day-to-day -day customer experience. And, and they will recognize those changes and will reward us for that. Well, can we say you have the best fries? Can we agree with that? We can. And can I, what's yeah. your favorite thing on the McDonald's menu? So quarter pounder with cheese is okay. my, my go-to. And do you know the Big Mac theme song? Oh, absolutely. Let's yeah. go to all, to all beef patty, patty special sauce, sauce lettuce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, pickles onions, on the sesame seed bun. bun. There you go. Very good, We got there. We got there. Cheering you on. Thank you very much. Before. Yeah, yeah, I think so. A couple of times. And you're welcome back. And McDonald's you. is very big in the O'Donnell family. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Well, you're very welcome. Thank, Thank you, Steve.